Warning, all electrical equipment should be handled by qualified electricians. Make sure to adhere to all local, national, and international safety laws when handling your equipment. Failure to do so could result in severe injury or even death. Acceleration time and deceleration time are 104 and 105. So as we were talking about before, it took a long time for it to start and it takes a while for it to stop. Now if I go into the menu and I go to parameter 104, this is my acceleration and I hold down the down arrow key, I can bring that down to like three seconds for example and press start. Oh, press menu again to enter it, then press start. As you notice, it got up to speed substantially quicker, right? So that's the whole idea behind that. Now I can also do the same thing with deceleration. Deceleration can be reduced significantly. Something to take into consideration though is if you have a high inertia load, in other words like a lathe, something that's very heavy, the faster you attempt to stop it, the more energy that's going to get pushed back up into the drive and the drive can fault out on something called a DC bus fault. A couple of ways to fix that, obviously you can extend out your deceleration time, be a little more patient with it. It's actually better on your drive to wait longer to stop. The other option is a dynamic braking module, which will actually absorb that extra energy that is coming out of it.